the Texans alarmed, to say the least, when we found out the alleged gunman once lived among all of us. But the people honestly most affected by that association would be his fellow 2017 graduates, the entire school from Plano Senior High School, the graduating class. CBS 11's J.D. Miles spoke with a former student who remembers Patrick Crucius. He joins us to share that story live for us. J.D. Doug, the student we spoke with says Patrick Crucius never showed signs of becoming a mass murderer while he was here at Plano Senior High School, but he says his classmate was subjected to bullying. When I went, oh my God, and that's when it all hit. And I said I had English with him. Like a lot of 2017 Plano Senior High School graduates, Jake Wilson learned the identity of the suspected El Paso mass shooter when his friends started texting each other Patrick Crucius's yearbook photo. Everybody's sick to their stomach. The 20 year old says he sat in English class with Crucius during their senior year and noticed antisocial behavior from his classmate. He was a very quiet kid, um, not very involved, often questioned why kids were involved. Um, he was picked on in class for reasons I don't even really know. He Wilson describes Crucius as a loner, but one by choice, who seemed uninterested in making friends at the school. It led to some bullying, according to Wilson, who says Crucius acted indifferently toward it. He says it wasn't bad enough for anyone to imagine what the now 21-year-old man would go on to be accused of. It seemed constant. No one wanted to really work with him in group settings um, because he, was, he would do his own thing. He would sit there and act like he was listening to you, and then he would go do his own thing, and people would complain about that. We openly saw, and there was some times where it was addressed and other times where it wasn't. If he was getting, Patrick, you're stupid, Patrick, shut up. Wilson and other 2017 Plano Senior High graduates are just getting started, making a name for themselves in the world. Now they have to deal with the stain left on their graduating class by a fellow student whose name they hope will be forgotten. I really hope it doesn't define it because that's not who we are as a city or even as a school. Wilson says he and his friends can't help thinking, what if? What if Crucius had turned his rage on his classmates here at school two years ago? It's something they will be haunted by for a while. Live in Plano, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you very much.